it was messy, but again, you know, you're in northeastern Ohio in, in late March, early April. You're you're you got to get lucky to get a meet with good weather. Um, so you got to make the most of it. I think every time you have a chance at a competitive effort, um, you got to take take that. Uh, toward the end of the meet, there was, it was the wind chill was starting to drop pretty hard, and so it made it made sprint performances a tough thing to put together. But um, I think people did good. I think every time you go out and compete, you have a chance to get better, even if the marks don't show it. Um, there's no way, you know how in indoor we have conversions for 300 meter tracks and bank tracks. I think outdoor they should come up with some sort of system where there's like a, a elements indexing system because it, it can be so impactful for particular races. But um, obviously that, that'll never happen. So you got to make the most of it and then hope for some good weather, which it seems like we're going to have this weekend uh, down at Ohio Wesleyan. With the weather being as, as, as good as it looks like it's going to be, uh, low winds, decent temperatures, high skies, sun. I think that it's it's the ideal situation for virtually everybody on the team to do well. Uh, there's no event, you know, typically a, a hot day, 80 degree track, distance runners aren't going to do so good, um, whereas sprinters will do great. When it's high 50s, low 60s, and, and, and you know, low wind, everybody can do well in that. And so I think you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of season bets, you know, potential for some PRs out there. Um, I just hope that our kids take advantage of it because it, it is such a rarity and you, you really got to buckle up and just put it together when you've got that chance. So uh, hopefully we'll come home with uh, with a collection of good marks and with two weeks out to the league meets, you know, there's there's not a lot of time left to, to get out there and show what you can do. Um, so I'm excited for them. I think they, they have they have a really good, really good situation building up for themselves. My name is Sarah Ozeki. I'm a sophomore and I am majoring in nutritional biochem and metabolism. And I run for, and I run and jump for the uh, track and field team. I got involved with Wiser uh, Women in STEM and Engineering Roundtable when I was a freshman. It was the first club I joined at Case. And I think it gave me kind of like the first sense of belonging other than track and field um, within like an academic setting because right away you're paired with a mentor and I have to credit like all my success to um, like within first semester like academically and within Wiser to my mentor first semester. She was so awesome um, and she really inspired me to get involved with Wiser. She's the main reason why I'm on the exec board now. And she's really inspired me to go after certain extracurricular opportunities on campus related to my major and um, summer opportunities and stuff like that as well. Um, yeah, my mentor has been super great even now. She's not my mentor anymore, but um, we still talk a lot and she gives me like, advice or she just calls in to check up on me and we see each other across campus which is really nice too and then I think one of the biggest impacts she's made on me is how I want to be a good mentor to my new mentees this year so I feel like it's really hard to find a good mentor or to like by chance meet someone who you really um connect with and someone that can really help you out at the same time and so I try to be like a good mentor to my mentee so then they can kind of continue on that like chain of like inspiring others to be good mentors because I think that's really important especially in STEM fields where you don't see a lot of women because it can inspire um, like future like classes to kind of like uplift themselves and then uplift other people along the way. I just started with the research in my sophomore year um, and it's something that I've been very patient about with um, looking for research and looking for the like lab and interests that fit me the best. Um, I'm doing research with Dr. Abigail Bassan and uh, the division of uh, gastroenterology and I'm helping out with a diet intervention study. So we look at um, mouse models and human models uh, to look at the effect of like anti-inflammatory foods, specifically like soy on the gut 
for people who have inflammatory bowel disease and then people who don't have inflammatory bowel disease as like a control and then um yeah it's been super interesting to like get into research for the first time because i don't really have like a great um background from like high school or anything but i feel like the postdoc there and my pi have like helped integrate me into the lab in a way where i still feel like i'm included and i have like a little bit of a role even though i basically don't have any research experience um and I've met like so many people in the lab that are just super friendly and are willing to like make things that they're doing into like a learning opportunity like sometimes people at other benches who are working on other um research or experiments will come invite me over and say like do you want to observe like um this procedure I'm doing or something like that and I think that is part of like it's like really a great environment for me to like get curious about research because the people there are so inclusive and like receptive to me wanting to learn. I definitely want to continue with um, helping out with the research and taking on bigger roles in the lab because right now I'm still kind of getting trained on a lot of things and so I feel like when we start with like more experiments and stuff like that I'll definitely be able to help like more and more as time goes on and I'm really excited about that because like, like I said before my postdoc has been really great in like giving me the opportunity to learn different procedures when he thinks it's appropriate and stuff like that. My favorite part about being at CASE is definitely the track team. I feel like that can seem very like an answer that I should be giving, but it's my genuine answer. Like my, the track team is definitely one of my favorite parts about being at Case because it gives me the opportunity to do what I love to do is just track and field and athletics and also build like some of the most unique friendships that I've ever had. And like some probably some of the long, longest lasting ones that I'll have um, coming out of this. Um, there's some people on the team who definitely helped me come out of my shell when it comes to like um, doing stuff outside of school um, and enjoying my time at Case. And I'm just super grateful for the opportunity to do this because I didn't really consider running track and field until after I committed at Case. So it was definitely one of the best decisions I made because it allows me to take a break from school, um, like when we have meets and stuff, and to really focus on school because I have like an um, I have a responsibility to track and field um, that depends on my academic performance to a certain degree. And so um, in order to keep doing track, I would like to do well in school. And so I think that it kind of melds together nicely and um, helps me succeed actually.